Isn't that illegal? Here's a little sermon for you. I'm going to preach to you um, about evolution in the same sort of way that a Christian preacher would preach to you about Christianity. Um, don't take this too seriously because this is not how it's done if you're an atheist. So, I'm going to quote to you now. I say unto you, from the book of Dawkins, the blind watchmaker, page 89, off we down. I say to you, what use is half a wing? How did wings get their start? Many animals, many, many animals leap from bough to bough. Sometimes they fall to the ground. Especially in a small animal. Where the whole body surface catches the air and assists the leap or breaks the fall by acting as a crude aerofoil. Thus it is written. Right there. And yea, it was also written in this book, the Book of Mills, Atheist Universe, page 130, two thirds of the way down. And it was written about ten years ago. What good is 50% of an eye? It enjoys a decided advantage over 49% or 37% or 8% in the struggle for survival. And the struggle for survival is what it's all about, let me tell you. Mm. And whosoever readeth that passage should know this. There's another one. Page 109, right in the middle, and it was written thus, in bold writing, so that it should be known with emphasis, and the book says, let us recall that regularity or constancy of motion denotes the absence of external force. Mm. If gods are unnecessary to explain the continued motion of a hunter's arrow, then the gods are unnecessary to explain the continued motion of celestial objects. If the gods are unnecessary to explain the hunter's downward plunge of the cliff, then they are unnecessary to explain other gravitational fields as well. For as Isaac Newton discovered, and he was a clever chap, the same gravity that pulls an apple to the ground is the same gravity that holds the moon and planets in their orbits. Don't say I didn't tell you. Brothers and sisters, aunties and uncles, mums and dads, boys and girls, do not doubt the word of science, for therein lies the path of doom. Accept science in your hearts, and when you die, absolutely nothing will happen to you. Here endeth the lesson. Isn't that illegal? Censor your kids' ideas. Censor your child's inspiration. Censor all that. Expect a really heavy return spring, because you know what? That kid's going to turn around yet, and you're never, ever going to have a part of his life again. Casting off the chains of the world. But enough about me.